you know, I, um, one of the topics that I'm, I've been on top of, it's the one uh, with Shirley Strawberry and her husband, Ernesto. So I have not really um, saw anything or heard anything, or maybe I just wasn't seeking it. But the last time we had discussed them, um, you had like gave us some tea on Shirley and her husband. And yes. are they like totally, totally separated right now? Yeah. So guess this is what I was saying. Like right now, you know that there's a website, um, phone calls in prison. Well, not a website, a YouTube channel that goes back and plays all of these calls. Like they are able to access phone calls that you make in prison, which is why I was saying about the R. Kelly band, but I'm waiting on that. But they can access all of these different phone calls. And with that, um, they are going back and playing from <clears throat> when Ernesto first got locked up all the way up until now. All of his phone calls, but she's doing it on in, in chronological order so that um you could see the pattern of you know his conversations with Shirley and then like you know from her being behind him and believing him and paying for his lawyers and all this other stuff and, and her the things that she said about Steve and his wife and this that, and the other all the way leading up to the apology on the air and all the way to the point to where he found out that his phone calls has been leaked. Now they are right at that point now. So the young lady that he's been talking to, like he'll call Shirley and ask her, you know, tell her he, he need money and, you know, act like he's checking on her and have a little like 10, 12 minute talk with her or something like that. He hang up with her and he'll call other people. But one in particular is this girl named Sonya. <laughs> Excuse me, Sonya. So when she called Sonya, she called her and, uh, I mean, he calls her and he talked to her for like 45 minutes or an hour. Now he talked to Shirley for every bit of like 10, 12 minutes. And the conversation is very, like formal kind of but when he talking to this other girl he talking like you know what you got on and you know you know i like that picture of you and we could really rock the world and we work good together i can't wait to see you and all this type of stuff so now that she's gotten wind of dang they leaking all our conversations online. And so she going back listening to it so she can kind of see what they're talking about. So she feeding this stuff to him to tell him, oh, wow. First, she was telling him about everything that was on TV, you know, all of the news clips, all of the, you know, what the people on the news were saying in the news articles and this, that, and then what the blogs were saying. And this, that, and the other. And he was, to me, he likes that clout. He likes the attention that he's getting from me because he always started giggling like, he like, oh, for real? It's out there like that? And he started laughing. He's like, well, I'm innocent. I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, once you start going through all these phone calls and this, that, and the other, you start hearing him telling them every once in a while, I, I don't want to talk about that right now. I don't want to talk about that on the phone. Or I don't know that. You know that he's trying to keep something from being said. Or, you know, like when recently, you know, she was saying different stuff about they said I'm your mistress and all this. Stuff. Why are they saying that? Why they, I don't hear nothing about no mistress. What they say, how they say it. And this, that they don't sound like no mistress stuff to me. You know, it's like he's trying to. Now he's trying to think back, like, what the heck could I have said to incriminate him? Then he starts saying stuff like, they ain't going to never let me out of here. They, I'm innocent. I ain't do nothing. They don't mean nothing. They ain't indicted me for nothing. And this, that, and the third. So today, 
uh, phone calls from prison played the, the call where she actually told him, let him listen to Steve and Shirley's conversation on the air about this and that. So he was like, um, when she said my estranged husband, he was like, estranged, what that mean? He said, she said, that mean that y'all married, but you ain't together. Baby, I can't wait till you hear the part about, we know about the fact, nigga, that you still married. Excuse me, bro, that, that you still married to your two ex-wives that you've been married to for the last 30 years, bro. You ain't never divorced none of them other women. You still married to, he's still married to his wife. He was married to 30 years ago. Then he got married again. He didn't divorce her. That marriage overlapped. And then he got divorced from that one after he married Shirley. But he's still married to the first one. So he's a bigamist on top of all this other stuff. Bro, it ain't looking good for you, dude. The fact that this woman, Shirley Strawberry, been evicted five times in the eight years they've been married. In the seven, eight years, whatever, they've been together. Five times she's been evicted. She didn't have to file bankruptcy. And, all, and she still stuck through you with all of this. And you've been cheating on her. Not to mention, bro, they got stuff. To, they got mess with you. They got evidence on you. And they got a young lady going for how you are aid her in that ambulance. Yes, he got an ambulance that he converted. He converted a dog on ambulance to a, uh, a, hotel, a hotel room on wheels. Hold on, hold on. He what? He bought an old ambulance and converted it into a hotel on wheels. A whore, a whore tail <laughs> on oh. wheels. A whore tail on wheels. And the little young girl said that he took liberties with her in it. Described the inside of it, all of that. When they um confiscated his truck, he had pictures. He had all kind of sexual things and liquid Viagras and all this him. He was an old freak, bro. He was an old nasty oh my freak. God. He and was probably driving that old ambulance around. Girl, he was oh, just God, running oh. He had it parked out in his car. They said that <clears throat> Shirley Strawberry got pictures spread out in the bed in it. Posing. And one of her friends told her that was no. good. Was good. They told why, her is she, why is Shirley in the back of an old ass ambulance with her legs spread? I guess the way he did it on the inside, it looked like a, I don't know, it's lavish or whatever. So she went in there. He called it uh, I think he told it was supposed to have been a place where you do photography and all this and that. Shirley. You mean to tell Shirley. me they okay, Shirley? I know Shirley made some good money with Steve Hart. Does she hold she on? Hold just on. Renewed Does her she contract. still work? Okay, so she still works with him. So Steve Harvey ain't let her go. And what's up, Vibrant and for you? Hey, how y'all doing? doing? Five million dollars for five years. Oh, she just so Steve contract. ain't. And I, you Can know, people was wondering, go. was he going to toss her to the side? No, he ain't letting her go. Wow. Nope. He's not letting her go. She's still with him. She got a job. She just loved the wrong man. Period. And he got her because he had some legitimate businesses under false pretenses. You understand what I'm saying? He started these different businesses and all this, that, and the other. But his, 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 his M.O. was to attract Older women that he could finesse that had money or good credit, and he made them the wife and the younger ones the playthings. That's his pattern. Wow. Mm. Every woman that he married was older than him, including mm. the one that he had the hair salon, the 24 hour hair salon slash barbershop. So he a sugar baby. 
<laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> Yes, and then from the understanding was like he finagled women out of everything. Like the car, some little charger or something. He told the girl that he was gonna he was gonna sell it for her, and he had he get her a new because he saw one. Da 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 da. She gave him signed the papers over, gave the man and then dude Joker sold her car and kept moving, kept pushing, just like he allegedly, just like he allegedly went and test drive. A vehicle, test drove a vehicle in California, drove it to Atlanta, sold it, and spunk, done spunk the money. So it's like he everything he's done, there was some type of scam in, in, in connected to it. The other thing was just Erica King lady with she has an alias. That's his uh his other mistress, and baby, when I tell you, well, I hate her wig, her makeup. Oh Lord, she busted, she busted, disgusting, and she can't be trusted. She was living right next door to him and Shirley. All that time, his mistress was living next door. He was screwing around with her too. Easy access, uh, easy access. Right, but and how, guess how she got. Get how she got caught. She got caught because she posed as his lawyer trying to get him out when they first locked him up. And they found out that she was using an attorney's name, but she's really not an attorney. She wasn't that lady. She was using that lady identity and all they calling the off trying to get him free. And they caught her. And when they caught her, they found out that her and him were the, in that 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 uh, image consultant business or whatever it was together and um, built people out of like over $2 million. Oh, my God, bro. He owed landlords for five months rent and more. He, uh, he got evicted from that. Surely got evicted since he'd been in locked up. And so does a lot of what he owe is that on her as well? It, it's involving her credit because he's credit hit. Yeah, that's what he was using these women for. Older women with money and good credit. Shirley was well, I guess it's a good thing lawyer. that um, I guess it's a good thing that Steve didn't let her go, and she got another contract just in case she got to pay some of that. That's fast. A lot of stuff she dealt with, though, I still be looking at it like this man did so much to you. Like, I, you know what? I don't even make as much money as some of these people do. And the few times that I have actually lived with men, you know, one I was engaged to, the other one was son's father or whatever. <laughs> one thing I can say, as much as we struggled and stuff, we ain't never lost no home. We ain't never have been evicted. We, you know what I'm saying? Like things happen and, you know, people fall short and, you know, struggle and stuff like that. But just the losses that she suffered, you know, because of him and she just stayed with him and stayed with him and all the different cheating and allegations and all that kind of stuff. I just don't understand. 